Hello everybody, it's Tyler, welcome back, and now I'm doing my extremely rare VHS update for June 26, 2015. One of my packages I got came today, in the mail from eBay. <coughs> Probably the last one for a while. And, sadly my mom says it's probably the last one for a while. But I'll get more in the future. Anyways. I opened it in the car already. So anyways, let's get to the rare update. I got a lot of rare tapes today. First, I got... Now I'm going to be removing some of the sh shrink wraps on some of these. And one of them sealed. I need to unseal. I'm going to show it. Alright, first I got Stormcatcher. By the way, every single one of the spoiler, but every single one of these are demo tapes. But also copy not for sale rental. My first call me a TriStar demo tape. I have. I now have it. I tape it to sticker label. And it's printed in the 41st week of 1999. Next tape. I got the demo tape of the Peacemaker. This is a this is my first dream the first DreamWorks film I ever made. And this is the first DreamWorks demo tape I have. Here's the spines, the other spine, top, back. I guess I'll just go ahead and take off the spring wrap on this. It's just kind of getting annoying. It's just kind of getting annoying. So yeah. I have to just take it off. It's, it's kind of bugging me. Here's yep, here's a better look at the back. Tape with the sticker label. Print dates December 30th, 1997. I know Visual Racial has the same copy as I do. He also has the demo tape. Next, I got Out for a Kill. Spine, other spine, top back. Another Call Me a TriStar demo tape. Wait a second. Well, it's core produced by quite a few companies. This is a Columbia TriStar Entertainment tape. Hang on. Sorry. My sister keeps closing and slamming my door. So I just locked it. So this will stop. Printed in the the 24th week of 1990. Uh, no, no, no. Hang on. 24th week of 2003. Next I got. This is the one I have to unseal. Turn it up. New line demo tape. Never heard of this movie. It's co produced by Warner Bros. Uh oh. Looks like the tape is not in very good condition. I hope it still works. So let's go ahead and unseal this. Wonder how that happened. The tape's in, it looks like the tape's in pretty bad condition. But I hope the tape still works fine. Hopefully. Plus, and even if it doesn't, I'll keep it because it's a demo tape. I haven't even heard of this movie, but I will keep it because it's a demo tape. Okay. Okay. Front is the spine, is the other spine, top, back again. Tape it in Clayble. Oh boy. Oh, not good. Look at that. Uh, it's coming apart. Yeah, this tape's coming apart very sadly, but... Yeah. I have to, I'm, I'm still going to keep it because it's a demo tape. Oh, yeah. This, tape, this tape's an... I wonder how it got so broken. I mean, it was sealed. January 4th, 2001. Oh, God. Yeah. Still going to keep this tape, though. Tape's in awful condition. Next tape, I got Falling Fire. This is my this is a new line Horizons Home Video demo tape. I mean, no Horizons Home Video, not new line. Sorry. Stick a label. Print date is September eighth, nineteen ninety eight. Next, I got Monkey Kings. This is my only Sterling Home Entertainment demo tape. Stick a label. No print date. Wait. Yeah, no print date. Next tape. Blade. Another demo tape. All these are demo tapes. Hey, think Clay. Well, print date is October 8th, 1998. I got 
Cursed Berry Theory, my only Warner Brothers demo tape. Actually, no, that's not true. I have one other demo tape from Warner Bros. But it's the only Warner Bros. demo tape I have with this with this sticker label. Per date, it's October 2nd, 1997. The other one I have has a dark sticker label. And it's per in 2004. Next tape, I got Dragula 2 in session, demo tape. Tape with the ink label. Print dates January 20th, 2003. Next one, I got Pure Danger. And this is a PM Entertainment Group Incorporated demo tape. Some of these I haven't heard of, these, some of these companies. Also, keep them though for demo tape collections. Printed in, no print date. Uh, next one. Village of the Damned. Excuse my language, because it has a cuss word and a tile bug. Go ahead and read it anyway. And it's another universal demo tape I have. Printed in the 29th week in 1905. Um, yeah, I have to. I haven't seen this movie. I haven't even heard of it, but I hope to watch it. Oh, there's another one I have to unseal. Sorry. Made Man. There's another one I have to unseal. But I'll go ahead and do it real quick for your guys' enjoyment. It's another Call Me a TriStar home video demo tape, by the way. This one looks like it's in better condition than Turn It Up. Turn It Up looks like it's in pretty bad condition. Hold on, let me try to get this off. It's not, it's, this one's not as easy to get off as Turn It Up. This one's a little bit harder. Oh boy. Sorry guys, it's a little bit hard to get off. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, this one's kind of hard. Okay, here it is. Sorry about that. And, and here's the tape with the sticker label printed in the 39th week, 1999. And it does have one of those um, harder cases. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, one of those harder uh, tapes. The Progary 3D is set. But do you know something weird about this tape? This tape has the wrong tape inside, it's a, it has a different demo tape. That is from New Horizons Home Video as well. Same thing with Falling Fire. It's called Sedition of Incidents. I'm going to have to find the real demo tape of this sometime. I'm still going to keep this tape. January 31st, 2000. Yeah. We have to find the real demo tape sometime. Just have the case for now. I got demo tape of Dead Presidents. Back. Stick a label print date, so February 9th, 1996. Two more left to go. Dead he Desert Heat. Another Columbia Trust on video demo tape. Printed in the 33rd week in 1999. 